Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a small Pilates workout, really quick and easy using light dumbbells. Using light dumbbells as small weights is such a good way to get more resistance and more strength into your workout. Obviously, if you don't have dumbbells, please feel free to use bottles of water, tins of beans, just anything with a bit of weight. Feel free to get creative. Let's get stronger and lean together. Get your mat ready and let's get started. When you are ready to begin, come into a seated position. So just come into whatever seated position is comfortable for you. You can be in a long frog, have your legs crossed or be sat on your heels as I am. Begin with two neck circles in each direction. Inhale for a circle and exhale for your second circle. And that's lovely, do two in the opposite direction. Once you've done that, we'll do our waist twists. So you've got your arms in a Cossack position. As you inhale, rotate your spine to one side. Exhale, come back to the center. Keep going alternating sides. Try your best not to lean forwards or backwards. You're sitting nice and tall and just rotating through your spine. Try to relax your shoulders, keep your hips facing forwards. Inhale, rotate through your spine. Exhale, come back to the center. Really good work, we'll do four more. And this is a really good exercise to warm you up. So we're doing a few of these today. That's lovely, last two, inhale. Exhale, come back to the center. Finish your last one. Reach your arms up to the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, circle your arms by your sides. Go into your side reach. Float one arm up to the ceiling, reach over to the side, then restack your spine, lower your arm down. Keep going alternating sides. So your breathing pattern is inhale, float your arm up to the ceiling, exhale, reach to the side, inhale, then as you exhale, restack your spine and bring your arm down. Again, try to sit nice and tall without leaning forwards or backwards. And that's wonderful, do four more. Last two, inhale, exhale, side reach. Inhale, pause, exhale, restack your spine, lower your arm down. Okay, once you've done those, come into a long frog position. So you do need to be in a long frog for this next exercise. Soles of your feet are together, hands on your knees, then start rolling forwards into a spine stretch prep. Going down as far as you can, then restack your spine, let your neck and your head come up last. Make sure you're started in a really nice seated position, neutral spine, neutral pelvis to begin. Lovely, do three more. Two more, roll forwards, 
try to keep your back nice and rounded as you roll forwards, then restack your spine. Lovely, make the next one your last one. Perfect, okay, from here, lengthen your legs and we'll do some rollbacks with straight legs. We'll go for five of these. Sit nice and tall, arms are in front of you, inhale. As you exhale, round your back and start rolling back as far as you can go. Inhale, as you exhale, roll forwards, round your back, touch your toes, then restack your spine. And again, start rolling back. Inhale, exhale, roll forwards, and then restack your spine. Keep going. If you're finding it challenging with your legs straight, you can bend your legs as well. I actually have a really good video, how to do rollbacks safely and correctly in my How To series. So go and check that one out. Lovely roll back, inhale, exhale, roll forwards, touch your toes, restack your spine. Brilliant, okay. We are going to repeat that. This time we're grabbing our weights. So bring your weights together, elbows wide, relax your shoulders, then start rolling back. The exact same breathing pattern, you're going back as far as you can. You then roll forwards and restack your spine. Keep those weights together and the weights close to your body. Lovely, do three more. Two more, so round and roll back. Try to have your back nice and rounded or as rounding as you can, then roll forwards and restack your spine. Really engage your core as you do this exercise. You are really working those abdominals. Stay here if you can and go into 10 arm openings. As you inhale, take one arm out to the side, exhale, bring your arm back in. Keep going, alternating sides. Try to keep your back nice and rounded and as still as possible. Well done, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, go for two more. Last one. Then once you finish, roll forwards back into a C curve, restack your spine. Well done, okay. So keep hold of those weights, legs nice and straight. We're going into one more roll back. This time, go into some waist twists. Rotate through your spine, come back to the center. Alternate sides. We're doing 10 in total. Really engage those abdominal muscles. Your abdominals are working super hard right now, so well done. Do four more. That's lovely, two. And last one, inhale, exhale, come back to the center. Then roll forwards, restack your spine. Put your weights down for a second. Really good work. From here, bend your legs, bring your arms in front of you and roll yourself down to your relaxation position. So lying on your back with your legs bent, your feet are hip distance apart and parallel. Make sure you're in your neutral spine, neutral pelvis, grab your weights. As you inhale, you're going to take your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, lower your arms by your side. Keep going, inhale and exhale. Try to keep that neutral spine, neutral pelvis.
lovely on this next one add a curl up so you inhale as you exhale curl up bring your arms by your sides inhale lower your head down arms come up to the ceiling we're doing 10 of these in total exhale curl up really engage your core come up as high as you can inhale lower try not to tilt your pelvis towards your belly button also make sure you're using your core and not overly straining your neck You've got two more. Lovely, last one, curl up. Stay in your curl up if you can. And from here, come into a double knee fold. We're going into hundreds. Have your knees and feet together. Start beating your arms from your shoulder joints. You're inhaling for five arm beats, exhaling for five. Just make sure you're counting your own breaths. If you need to drop the weights like I just have, because it can be a lot for your shoulders, for your core, for your head, especially if you've got slightly heavier weights. I am sticking to stage three of the hundred with my legs bent, but feel free if you want to, to extend your legs and lower them down a little bit to really get your core working. I felt strong so I picked my weights back up but you don't have to if you don't want to. Remember inhale for two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five, inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four and five. You should be very nearly done. Once you are, lower your head down, bring your knees into your chest and rock from side to side. Really good work. Also rotate your neck from side to side as well. So look to your left and your right to really release in the neck. Well done. Okay, lengthen your legs and your arms. Give your core and your arms a nice stretch. Inhale and exhale. And again, inhale, reach your arms up to the ceiling. As you exhale, roll yourself up to sit in. Round your back, touch your toes and get the back of your lower back a nice stretch. Also the back of your legs. Inhale. As you exhale, restack your spine back to your seated position. Then we're rolling ourselves down to our supine again. So let your head come down last. Bend your legs and grab your weights again. Bring your arms up to the ceiling. Come into a double knee fold. We're going into 10 slow scissors. Alternating legs. As you inhale, extend your leg. Exhale, bring your leg back in. Try to keep that neutral spine. So really engage your core. Inhale, extend, exhale, bring your leg back in. Keep your arms nice and still. Keep your head nice and still as well. Try not to flare those ribs. Inhale, exhale. From here, go for 10 fast scissors. Lovely, you've got five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, come back into your double knee fold, back to your slow scissors. Inhale, extend one leg, exhale, bring your leg back in. Make sure you're alternating legs. Go for five more, lowering that leg down as low as you can, whilst keeping that neutral spine. Well done, you've got two. And last one. Back into your fast scissors for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Keep going. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Lower your legs down and your arms. 
and come into a stretch. You can bring your knees into your chest, hug your knees, rock from side to side. Lovely, when you're ready, just rock yourself up to a seated position. Okay, so this next exercise is quite challenging, so please feel free to skip this if you've got any lower back issues. You need just one of your weights. You want to balance in your sitting bones, come into a double knee fold, have a nice neutral spine, so you're in a teaser prep position. Grab your weight and then start drawing circles around your legs in one direction. We'll do 10 in each direction. Make sure you're balancing on those sitting bones, engage your core, keep your feet nice and lifted. So try not to drop them. This is quite challenging. So please skip this if you need to. Once you've done 10 in one direction, do 10 in the opposite direction. Make sure you're breathing. So just nice inhales and exhales. Well done, you've got about three more. Lovely, once you finish, lower your legs down one at a time, put the weight down for a second and just have a quick breather. We are going to do this again. Again, only if you feel like you can. This time we're going to level it up a tiny bit. Come into your double knee fold and then lengthen your legs. So you're in a teaser position. Start drawing circles in one direction, 10 in total. If you can, try to keep your legs nice and still, which is really hard. Try to keep that neutral spine, engage your abdominal muscles. Lovely, last one. Once you've done the 10 in one direction, lower your legs down so you have a bit of a breather before you go to the other side. And let's go, lengthen those legs, neutral spine, 10 circles in the opposite direction. If you need to bend your legs at this point, please do. Which you can see that I needed to do at this point. Last one. Lower your legs down, come back to a seated position, put your weight to the side. Really good work, that is not easy. From here, come into a rest position, sit on your heels and then roll yourself down so that you've got your forehead on the mat, your arms nice and lengthened. This is such a lovely stretch, so enjoy, inhale and exhale. And again, inhale. As you exhale, restack your spine with control, let your neck and your head come up last. Lovely, okay, so just a few more exercises to go. You're doing so well. Grab your weights and come into your four point kneeling. You want wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, neutral spine. We'll do 10 weighted arm openings. So lift your arm up to the ceiling. Your eyes are following the weight. Then return to the center. We're doing 10 in total, alternating sides. This really works your arms, but also you're getting a nice rotation through your spine. Lovely, do four more. Two more. Last one, inhale, exhale, come back to your start position. Okay, from here, come into a kneeling position, put one weight down. We're only using one weight for now. You're going to bring your arms in front of you to shoulder level and then do 10 thigh stretches. So as you inhale, lean back, 
exhale, return to the center, reach your arms up to the ceiling. So it's a thigh stretch to arm reach. Try to keep that neutral spine as you lean back. So really your focus is working those thighs. You don't want to arch your lower back because this can cause damage to your lower back. Inhale, exhale as you return, reach your arms up to the ceiling. Lovely, take your time. Lean back as far as you can. Make sure you're using those leg muscles. Lovely, okay, once you've done those 10, we are going to do that again, but this time add in a rotation. So you've got your arms in front of you, you're going to lean back. As you return, reach your arms up to the ceiling in a waist twist position. Keep going alternating sides, we're doing 10 in total. So rotate through your spine. This will feel really nice for your core, for your obliques. You're working everything here. You're working your legs, your core, your abdominals, your arms, your shoulders. Lovely, well done. Two more. Remember to keep that neutral spine as you lean back. Make sure you're using your legs. Lovely, well done. Once you've finished, put your weight to the side and then sit on your heels, have your knees wide, toes together, roll yourself down to your rest position. Again, here you're just having a nice stretch. Lift your elbows, get a stretch in your upper body and your shoulders. Inhale. As you exhale, restack your spine. Let your neck and your head come up last. Lovely, do that again, roll forwards. Try to round your back as much as you can into that rest position, forehead on your mat, lengthen your arms. Inhale, exhale, restack your spine. And you are finished, well done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this workout. See you next time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.